right guys so i have officially found the shrine inside of the rb battles game as you can see right here shrine discovered and in this video i'm going to show you how to uncover it so the first thing you're going to need to do is have all three rb battles swords if you don't already have all three of them i have tutorials on my channel on how to get each one of them i'll have them pinned in the pinned comment section down below and then what you want to do is go into the game once you have them and you want to go into your inventory over here on the left and you want to simply click on them and equip them and then they're going to show up in your hot bar down here at the bottom and then well yeah, they're, they're gonna they're gonna be right back now the cool thing about these swords is you can actually pull them out and it'll actually disconnect from the ultimate sword right there you can see how that works right there but now that you have that what you want to do is look up here now this code right here error 404 you want to actually put that on the twitter codes so you want to type this in three four four this is a zero r and then 404 like that you're going to click redeem now i've already used that code but when you use that code it's going to give you this here this is going to be a secret note you, you don't have to read it I, i'm going to tell you what to do but if you want to read it you can but basically now that you have that what you're going to do is you're going to come on over here to the hall of fame all right and you're going to go over here to the characters and you're going to change your character to dj monopoly if you don't have enough uh coins in the game you might have to buy some or play the game until you get enough but now that we got dj here and of course we have his green sword what we're going to do is we're going to go to the obby and we're just going to make our way to the top all right so when you get to the top what you're gonna do is you're gonna come on over here to this right room now this is dj's uh little shrine room here you're gonna take out his green sword you're gonna walk up to here and it's gonna give you a little bit of a cutscene. now this cutscene is going to energize the green sword we're gonna have to energize all of them and once once you're good with the green you're good to go now for you this isn't gonna be green these uh these levers aren't gonna be switched down yet i'll get to that here in a second it's a little bit bugged right now for me but i'm gonna show you how to do it anyway basically come on up here and and then you're going to charge that up there. And then once you've got your green sword charged up, it's actually going to give you a speed boost. Green sword of agility makes sense, right? Then what you're going to do is you're going to come on over here and you're going to change over to Sabrina. Now with Sabrina, we're going to go to the other shrine that's available and we're going to charge up the purple sword. Now just hold the green sword out while you're doing this. It just makes you run and move a little bit faster so you can do this a little bit quicker. But basically, you're going to come down here and uh, don't worry about that being open. I'm, 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 I'm going to get to that. Come on through here, right through these fans. And what we're going to do is we're gonna go right down here we're gonna go past this little this little thing here this little area with the spikes so once you're out of the area with the spikes what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the uh to the room over here to the right so you can actually just jump up these boxes or you can do it the way you're supposed to do it which is by just going this way and then just jump across here there you go problem solved jump right on up here go through here and if you have the the green sword it's going to make you move faster so this uh, well don't do that should make it a little bit easier for you to make all your jumps and everything just like that now what we're going to do is we're going to take out the purple sword this is sabrina's sword with sabrina's shrine again all of this isn't going to be activated for you yet but run on up here it's going to activate sabrina's purple sword for you and then when that's done you can see it's activated it'll make a cool little animation you should see it here just give it one second it'll do like a cool little like animation there it is right there that's activated perfect now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come right on over here and we're gonna go to this door now there's a code for this door there's a whole puzzle you have to do to solve it i'm not gonna make you solve it if you subscribe so go ahead and subscribe right now and i'll tell you the code i'm just gonna give you guys a second to subscribe real quick okay all right are you subscribed okay i'll tell you the code here's the code put this code in and then just click this little star at the bottom and this door right here will open up now once the door opens up go on in and well pull this lever up that's gonna activate the power now this right here is actually going to allow you to uh will activate the shrines so you're gonna need to go back down here we're gonna come right on through here once again one more time again you can pull out your your green sword it'll just make you run a little bit faster for this part so now that you have the power turned on you got the green sword charged and you got the purple sword charged you're gonna come back on over here and you're gonna do the lever puzzle because you're gonna be able to turn the levers on now so basically what you're gonna do with this is these levers here you want to flick them up and down until all of these lights are green once they're green that's gonna turn purple and this shrine's gonna be activated perfect now what we're we're gonna do is we're gonna run all the way back to the beginning of the map we are done with this room we are not gonna be coming back into that room ever again at least for the rest of this uh tutorial here so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back up to the top of the obby here right on back up here you can probably disable your sword for this one make it a little bit easier but basically just go right back on up to where you did dj's uh dj's sword at all right perfect so now that we're in here we're gonna do the exact same thing we're gonna turn down the levers push them up and down until all of these are 
green and then that's going to be green perfect so now when you do that the elevator is actually going to open up for you this elevator way over here so now the elevator is open you're going to get the badge for that so that's awesome but now we're going to click this right here just smack it with the sword it'll open up or close up and then you'll be able to go up the elevator now once you're in the elevator look at this uh this photograph right here it's just it's a nice photograph all right then what you're gonna do you're gonna come right on over here put your sword away and there's gonna be a little green star right underneath this chair you can kind of see it if i light it up a little bit it's, it's it's green you can click on it click it when you click that this door right here is gonna open up it's already open for me so it's not gonna do it again but the door is opened up now right here next to the house and it should it should let me run on over here now what we're gonna do is and i actually should have done this before we're gonna go back down the elevator here we're gonna change our skin over to russo if you want to do this before you go up the elevator you can do that i it didn't cross my mind because now we're gonna activate russo's sword so let me go ahead we're gonna go back on over here we're gonna activate russo's sword real quick which is here smack the elevator now that we're russo perfect i'm gonna pull out the blue sword for this now we're gonna go back into this room and russo's sword will activate as you can see it's gonna trigger a cutscene right here and that's gonna charge up russo's sword we're gonna need this for the final battle which is great so that's good now and well now what you're gonna do is the exact same thing you did before so literally just go ahead make make all of these right here uh light this up green i've already done it so i don't have to do it again but just pull down the levers until it activates and then when that activates what you're gonna do is you're gonna run right on back down here it actually it bugged out i have two swords of truth right now look at that what's up with that that's a little bit of a bug i don't think that's supposed to happen so now the shrine is unlocked so now we're gonna go back on over to actually over to here we want to go to the space uh craft which is down here and now once that room is open that shrine is activated the levers are down this is going to be open and you can come right on in here and well guess what there's the shrine right there now i've already done this but it's going to look like this it's going to put them in the shrine for you again it's a little bit bugged for me right now so uh this is kind of what it looks like but i promise you'll get the badge by doing this uh, again here's a screenshot and that's it that's how you get the shrine badge the elevator badge all of that inside of the rb battles event next up is the final battle that's when we're going to be getting this item here the hood of champions make sure you're subscribed you definitely don't want to miss out on that item uh, only the first 30 people will be able to get it it's going to be epic i'll be telling you how to do it we'll be doing it on live streams so make sure you're subscribed and of course keep using star code recruit when you're buying your robux buying your robux premium helps me out and uh allows me to buy you guys robux so now you can change your avatar back you don't need those guys anymore and uh you're good to go epic Gotta be the star